This project begins with a rock and a dream. Okay, maybe not a dream. But a plan to make a magnificent sea turtle necklace out of this ordinary alabaster rock. How, you ask? Stick around and I'll show you. I drew up these guys in Illustrator. A couple different versions of what I might want it to look like. And then I did different widths because I'm not sure. This is definitely going to be too big. This I think is too big. I think it's between these two. So I want to cut them up and see how they look size-wise. Alright, I've decided on the 1.3 inch wide. I think my tools are fine enough, just barely, to get into this little groove right here. So I'm going to use some, use some carbon paper so I can get this little dude traced onto my rock. Paper underneath. Just trace it. I'll probably go over it again in marker just so I'm sure that I can see it really well when I go to cut it on the tile cutter. Okay, there he is. This was actually my second attempt at cutting out the turtle. My first attempt resulted in an unfortunate decapitation. This one went much better. I want to get as much of this extra material off as I can, but still kind of leaving myself some breathing room to refine the form with uh, different tools. So there he is. The rock was thick enough that I could cut it down the middle and make two turtles out of it. So I started to cut it, but then I'm like, oh wait, I should probably refine the form first so that both turtles will be closer to their uh, final shape. I did leave some bits of video in here in real time so that you guys get an idea of how long this process actually takes. After separating the two, I used a variety of diamond bits to remove more of the excess material and to shape him. Uh, I'm using some diamond files here to do some finer detail and get into some of those tighter areas. I want to get the form pretty much worked out in this one dimension uh, before I start rounding things out and giving the parts their 3D form. Now I've got the main body outline how I want it, so it's time to start shaping it in 3D. So I just start rounding things out and giving some depth to the pieces. You can see he's still definitely too thick here, but he's really starting to take shape and I'm happy with how he's looking. Like before, I kind of go back and forth between using the hand files and the Dremel so that I can continue refining the form. Once I get the form nailed down pretty well, uh, then it's on to sanding so that I can smooth out the scrapes from the Dremel and any remaining bumps in the form. Now you can see me drawing the swirl pattern onto his back so that I know where I need to carve next. Unfortunately, I didn't film the first round of putting the texture in. Sorry about that. But you can see here uh, where I'm adding more, I used a rounded bit to put lots of divots in the swirl to give it that texture. Okay, got the little guy carved up. 
the the pattern that I've created in here um, you can maybe see like the texture this disappears if if I cover it with resin it'll basically disappear so I'm thinking I'll put some paint in here maybe and then sand it down um, so that it's not like super prominent so you'll still be able to see that texture um, I'm a little unsure now I can't decide how to put the the jewelry hardware on I'm thinking I will drill a little hole through his fin yeah I don't know that I really want to do that and I feel like it's gonna make this the tip of the fin really fragile you know what I could do so maybe if I all right okay I think I know what I want to do so I think I want to carve a little ridge if I carve a little ridge in the fin for this piece, which my fingers seem really giant, um, and this piece, or for this piece to set into, I can glue it on the back and then I can hook this piece to this piece. And this is what the necklace can go through. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes, that is what I'll do. Okay, let's do all that. Taping him to the table so that I can figure out and then mark where I want the little ring to go. So I'm just gonna cut a little groove, very small groove, into that spot. Now I'm gonna glue him on, or glue this ring onto his fin. I guess while I'm under here. Now I'm signing the underside so I can paint it when I paint the textured area because it too will disappear when I apply the resin if I don't. I used some white acrylic paint, thinned it out with some water, and added some pink and orange to it so that it wasn't too white. And I just painted it on, not worrying about overpaint since I'm just gonna sand that off. He's all dry, so now I'm gonna sand off the excess paint. So now it's just sanding off that overpaint on the top and bottom. And he's ready to go. So again, I've taped him down so he doesn't swim away. To attach the little ring, I've mixed up some five minute epoxy. That smells terrible. Oh, son of a biscuit. Uh, this was not as easy as I had hoped it would be. I tried holding it on there for literally five minutes, um, but it kept moving. This was a headache, to say the least. Um, I really, I was going crazy. I ended up having to get a new ring because it wasn't working, and I was concerned that it would get glued to the pliers. So yeah, I, I struggled with this for a long time. And then after all that struggle, all right, the glue is dried and uh, run into a bit of a wrinkle. This does not fit well in here. It's like too snug. It really needs to have a bit more breathing room. Like it barely fits, but once I put a coat of resin on this whole thing, it's not going to fit anymore. So I was kind of looking at like, oh, okay, well, how hard would it be to like, remove this and just lift it right up so it wasn't that great of a seal anyway like that glue clearly sucks so my groove is too far down so I really let me take this off um, so I think I'm gonna try super glue instead of this epoxy glue put it further down the fin to give it more space so that when I coat it with resin there will be enough room for this ring to fit in. Okay, so the super glue also sucked. It did not hold at all. So I uh, ended up using rubber cement and that actually worked pretty well. Here I'm folding up some tape. Uh, so that I can lift him off the surface a little bit before I apply the resin. This is Art & Glow resin. 
I mixed up a tiny bit in equal parts of hardener to resin. Then I just use this paintbrush to apply it. After this coat dries, uh, I'll give it like a day to dry and then I'll come back and do the little patch on the underside where the tape is. Here it is, the finished sea turtle necklace. The hardest part was definitely attaching the jewelry hardware. That was not my favorite, but I did learn a lot in the process, so it was worth it in the end. What do you think of how it turned out? Let me know down in the comments. If you liked this video, hit that like button and subscribe to my channel. And ring that bell so you don't miss a thing. Thanks for watching, everyone. I'll catch you next time.